Hello crafters, welcome to Crits OMG and today's video. In January I popped to Pound Fetches and I got these three signs. Now I've already taken the image off the front of this one. Um, they're lovely, don't get me wrong, I really like them, but what I bought them for was the bones. This particular press board MDF, um, you know, it's weighty, it's, it's, it's substantial. Now, like I said, I really like the images and they would go with my Christmas decor. But I bought them because I, 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 I had already purchased this the night before Christmas um, from Poundland. It's a book. I, I brought uh, two copies. One because I knew I wanted to use some of the images. Because when you, when you flick through this book, some of the images are absolutely beautiful. And I think they go really well with my Victorian theme this year. So, like I said, I've taken off, I think I skipped a page there, I've taken off the image of, of, the front, of the white one, and I'm going to do the same with the red and the blue one, and we're going to put some of these images on the front, and then we're going to do some extra bits and pieces. I, I want this image, or that one, I'm not sure, I think maybe that one, and I want this one for sure, I'm just not sure which the third one so that one I want for sure so I want that image for sure so I'm just going to tear this one out of the book I really like this one too I do, like, I do like these, these images are just beautiful. Maybe this one, or this one. Let's tear this one out. I bought two, one because I really wanted to keep um, one of these and, and just in case I needed to have, um, if I wanted one image on that was on both sides of the page, that's so cute. I could literally do something with all these images. They're lovely. They'd be a nice frame too. I think I'm going to go with that one. I don't want to go with this one. Okay, so let's start with this one. And the good thing about it is I am going to be able to get most of the image inside. I know I'm going to not get every single piece, but I'm not too worried about that. Okay, let me grab a pencil and let's draw around this. In fact, I could maybe do these so they're double sided. Hmm, that's an idea, crafters. Maybe I could do them double-sided. Okay, so let me cut this out. And I'm just going to use my cutter bees. My battery died crafters. So all I'm doing is cutting out the image. Remembering to turn the image rather than my scissors. And I'm cutting on the outside of the... Um, pencil line because I'll go back and I'll use some um, a nail file or a uh, piece of sandpaper to make the edges crisp once I've once I've attached this on okay I'm going to use some matte um, Mod Podge. Going to use a sponge brush. 
And I'm going to put a thin layer on this because if you think about the the paper that's still on there is going to soak up some of the the mug podge. So I'm going to do a thin layer and I'm going to let it dry for a few minutes and then I'm going to come back and put on another layer. So I've just given that a few minutes to dry and now I'm going to put another thin coat of the Mod Podge on. I'm not going to saturate it because I'm trying to minimise the, the bubbling and the wrinkling. Okay, let's put this on. And what you need to do is you need to go away from the page because if you turn, if you go upwards, it'll pull it up. So you need to go away. And what that does, it gives you a finished edge, a more professional looking edge. If you look at this compared to this it's not finished where this looks much more finished so I'm going to go around this entire piece of wall art Okay, crafters, that's all done. Now, using um, my really old uh, vintage photo distressing, this is the one I use for this type of craft. I have one here that I use for when I'm doing stamping. But this one is when I'm doing mixed media, that type of thing. And I'm going to be using my lovely um, blending tool that I get from Shell Ratcliffe and her husband Clint. I'll link Shell's um, channel below and see you can message her in regards to these these are works of art and they're beautiful so i'm going to go get some vintage photo and i'm going to go around the outside for two reasons one because i want this to be you know slightly aged and rustic looking you know if it may, and i know they wouldn't have had this type of thing in the victorian era but i want it to look like it may have come from the victorian era and i may even just go straight on and two, it covers up those bits of white, the bits of white from where the image didn't quite go all the way to the, the edge. And then again, I know we didn't have glitter back in the uh, Victorian era, and if we, I don't, at least I don't think we did. 
I'm going to be using some of my my glitter glues and I'm going to be putting um, some highlights on some of the areas like the um, the sleigh for example um, probably gonna have to be cleaning some of these out but I want to put some of the uh, the glitter on here and I will use a paintbrush I'm just going to paint the uh, move the the glitter the stickles type glitter with the paintbrush let me zoom you in a bit just got to remember if I need to zoom you out if I because uh, I have a habit of remember not remembering to zoom you out okay so that's the red I don't think there's red anywhere else I think I'm going to have some blue in the sky just in places not everywhere going to do that with the other two and then I will bring them all to camera at the end but there's this one hopefully the glitter can be seen but let me get on and do the other two and then I'll show them all to okay, the crafters end. they are all done here's the one I did with you on camera I'm not going to be hanging them up on the wall so I'm not worried about putting anything on the back and what I've decided to do with the other two is don't remove the image so I can re I can use this if I want to and then I've got the image on the reverse and then you've got this one and I've used some of the Nuvo um, the Nuvo drops because they they stay um, 3D so I put them on the tree but I'm really happy with the way that they turned out so thank you very much for joining me today crafters and you'll see me very soon take care now bye bye